has been part of the NFL Network's free agency frenzy coverage. He is none other than uh, Super Bowl champion Sean O'Hara. I have to say that, right, that you won a Super Bowl before. We you don't, don't have to, but it, well, it kind of has a nice ring to it. We don't have, <laughs> the, we don't have what's called the, what they call it a tombstone in oh, the television business, oh, the which, is, which is the graphic mm -hmm. that everybody puts at the corner of the screen with your resume. We don't yeah. have that. We should actually do that I, for know, all of us, right? Like it would be Penn State graduate, <laughs> Chris Law. What uh, else would you put on there? Uh, uh, Instagram's photographs of himself putting up a, a middle finger. Three-time state oh, champion. Hey, wait a minute. Parker. Look on the television screen for the radio. Wow, so we do that. have hey. it. Hey. We're like everybody else. Hey. Hey. Magician, man. I mean, you, you, you know, you ask for things and it just bam. It's great. Just pop right Mango, up. do we have a topic bar too? Do we? <laughs> are we going topic bar at the bottom of their television screen? We're topic barless here. You know, can you can I mean, you make points without a topic bar as a television analyst? Yeah, I try to avoid the topic bar. I love messing with the director. They throw the topic bar up and don't just don't do that. This hardworking people. <laughs> oh, that, now, that what about a highlight? Could we BA? get a highlight? Is <laughs> that asking for too much? What do you want? Uh, so we could get a highlight. That would really I mean, like, a, like, a, like a like a Super Bowl highlight of you. I mean, it doesn't what have to was be your move. highlight? What was your highlight? Snapping My the highlight? ball, snapping the ball to Eli well, for for the for the for the Tyree catch, I'll right? I'll go on record. It all started. The ball that wound yes. up in Tyree's hand against his helmet. Correct. Started with you touching the football oh, yeah. first, right? Correct. And it was completely inflated. It was. It was. Wait, I, I Sean, checked hold it on. on that play. Which yeah. one of the four non-holding calls on that play were you committing? <laughs> oh. I'm glad you brought that up because you know you, you were going to ask about the highlight. I was the only offensive lineman blocking. Oh, yeah. Look, Chris Snee standing right there doing oh, yeah. nothing. I'm the only one still blocking. You're in the mix. I'm, yeah. I'm the one that I've got Richard Seymour by Which the Which one of the holding calls that weren't called? I mean, were you uh, I mean, don't, don't you get a rush just seeing that that right there? How like, do you that? say that? Mike Carey was the referee. <sighs> Mike Carey, yeah. you know, oh my. Mike that explains Carey of everything. CBS. No, stop it. <laughs> Mike Carey of CBS Sports and oh. NFL Network's Thursday Night so, Football coverage. So, you know what? It's funny that, that, that you mentioned that, uh, yes. the holding aspect, because I, I was at, um, I got inducted to the Rutgers Hall of Fame this year. We Congratulations. Did, thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. We're all in the Big Ten, so we're all oh. friends for now, but not so exactly. much. I won't bring it up. Don't. Rich. I won't go there. So We have Harbaugh back, now, if you want to bring the, it up. You, Blue Nose. This it. fall. That's so, right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm at the, the halftime of the game, and Mark Deal, the offensive line coach for Indiana, comes over, and, and, mm -hmm. and he was at Rutgers when I was there, and he says, do you know one of my good friends was the umpire during Super Bowl 42? Mm -hmm. And he was going to throw a flag on you for holding. Uh -oh. He actually put his hand on the flag, and he saw you, you know, clutching Richard Seymour, and he and? said, I was going to throw a flag, and I didn't. And, and why he did tells he not? Me this did story. he tell you that? He said he, he, said it, he wasn't convinced that it was a hold. You know, wasn't convinced? Wasn't Rockman. convinced, and he said he, did, he didn't want to make a judgment call, which I thought was awesome on his part because com, could you believe? I mean, I wouldn't be here right well, now if here, I was called for holding on that play. You wouldn't be having it right because uh, you wouldn't have you yeah. wouldn't have you wouldn't have yeah. won a Super Bowl. I would have had to Twitter stalk you in order to get. No, kind that's of not true. Yeah. It's just that your your resume that comes up on the bottom of the screen, My bottom tombstone. left part of the screen, your tombstone. As yeah. a, which I would think we in the TV business should come up with a better nickname <laughs> it, for it, it. It sounds a little grave. Yeah, don't you think? Nice. Yeah. Nice play on yeah. words, Sean O'Hara. Yeah, it, but it just wouldn't say Super Bowl champion. And the thing, Brockman, is I can't, I can't feel for you in many ways because, oh, my goodness, we would have had five rings instead That's of four. That's the perfect season, 19 and 0. Look, uh, Tyree went to Syracuse, great guy. I, I met him a few yes. times. Yeah. Not going to really hate on that play. But there was holding. You should I mean, you held. Right? I mean, will you admit though. that you held? I did not hold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, hey, the, the glove does not fit. All right. <laughs> you must have quit. I, and, and, and there's a difference between holding. If your hands are inside, this right. is. Uh, let's get Oman talk right now. Please. If your hands are inside, yes. you're allowed to grab all you want. It's when they're out here. If you're in here, this is called clutching. If you're out here, this is holding. Yeah. All right, a little O-line 101. I'm right glad there. you said Kidding that you didn't there. hold because Kidding I would have been Jackie Childs to tell you. Who put? Who told you to put the bomb on? I mean, well. I, who what, told you? I didn't tell you to stand? put the bomb on. Who, the who told He's you to put the bomb on? Hey, feel free to blame Asante Samuel, too. I mean, he had I also blame right. Asante Samuel. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. his fault. Yeah. Right through his hands. Yes, there's many different pieces to a puzzle. Yeah. Sean O'Hara here on the Rich Eisen Show from the National Football League Network, just up the road here from our DirecTV studios of the Rich Eisen Show. So where do you stand on the concept of, eh, you know, the Cowboys can play this game of chicken with DeMarco Murray or hardball, however you say, because that offensive line can blow holes open for just about anybody. Where do you stand on that subject, Sean? Well, I, I think that they're, they're the best old line in the NFL right now. But I, I'm also, I'm, I'm very cautious to say, hey, we could just throw anybody back there and 
um, you know, they're going to they're going to lead the NFL in rushing. You know, that, I mean, that's something that you can't. Um, you know, you, you, you can't look at that and just say anybody can do that. I think DeMarco Murray, the, the season he had was phenomenal. But also, I mean, Joseph Randall, I mean, look, you put him out on the field, he stole a lot of yards when he came in there. Did as you the, use that? As a, did you do that on purpose? Because for the radio grave, audience, he winked at me he as he stole. said that line. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I think that this is purely economical. I mean, it's, it's numbers game, Rich, which you know. Sure. They want to keep DeMarco Murray, but they're not going to. They're not going to overpay him, and you know, really, I think the guaranteed money that Demarco wants, I don't think they can afford because they're going to have to pay Dez next year. Right. You know, they franchise him this year. They're going to have to find a way to fit him in next year if he can uh, if he can keep producing. Right. So, does he fit Chip Kelly's? Everybody fits Chip Kelly's offense, right? Yeah. And which style of running back doesn't fit Chip Kelly's offense? Would well, be? apparently, Sean McCoy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, it, it's shocking to me because. You know, DeMarco Murray, I, I feel like LaShawn McCoy is, is the best back. You know, maybe he and Adrian Peterson, mm -hmm. two of the best running backs in the NFL. So I don't know how you get rid of LaShawn McCoy and then say we're going to bring in, you know, possibly Ryan Matthews and now DeMarco Murray. And what they're going to pay those two running backs, you know, is probably going to equal to what they would have paid LaShawn. McCoy, I know. So maybe it's just the fact that Chip just wants a, a multi-back system. He doesn't want a single back, which is what DeMarco Murray just was. So... You know, there's a lot of questions. I mean, he had 392 carries. Questions. Now, if you're DeMarco Murray and you're looking at long term, maybe this extends his career because if he comes to Philly and shares carries, he's not going to get worn down. But if you come in with that mindset, you're also not going to get paid as much because you're not the feature back. It's just fascinating to me how this is playing out, and it's been so quiet yeah. more than anybody, any other free agent until the last 24 hours, and that Philadelphia of all teams could be the one yeah. – to and eventually they, sign and they him. won 10 games last year. You know, it's not last like two they years. Were, it's not like they were, yeah, 20 games in the last two years. It's not like they were two and 14, and now they've got to blow up the team and completely change it. So it, it's it's been remarkable. It's been exciting to watch. I, I think Chip Kelly is making a lot of moves that a lot of coaches wish they could make. Mm -hmm. they, they wish they had the the oomph to to, to do it. He just doesn't care. Uh, but the Demarco Murray signing would certainly, you know, get people over the whole. Mm -hmm. He's insane conversation right now that people are in Philly are having. Sean O'Hara is here on the Rich Eisen Show. We're going to take a 60-second break, come back with Sean and your phone calls. You want to take some phone calls? Let's do it. Sean O'Hara, you just saying that or you really, you really want to do it? Let's do some phone calls. All right, yeah. let's do some phone calls. Uh, Sean O'Hara is here. He's a Super Bowl champion. He was not holding on the play Clutching. that crushed um, Chris Brockman and the rest of New England's soul back in 2007. Did not hold. Although the umpire thought he might have. How does that play for you, Brockman? Not good. Back in a minute here on the Rich Eisen Show. We, we can reenact. Cheer me up somehow. Come on. Did not get called for holding. <laughs> he did not get called for holding. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Sean O'Hara is here. Does not mean that holding wasn't committed. So what, on the man? Plane. So you lost. You got four other rings. How many rings can you possibly have? All How many them. yachts can you water ski behind? All of them. <laughs> Sean O'Hara is here on the Rich Eisen Show. You said you want to take phone calls. Let's do it. Should we do it? I'm let's not, I'm not yeah. threatening either. No, let's do um, it. Let's see. Do we have anybody uh, that would be, uh, let's go to, let's let's talk Jimmy Graham. Let's talk Jimmy Graham. Uh, yeah. Devin in Texas, you're on the Rich Eisen Show. Devin? W Rich, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. You're here with Sean O'Hara as well. Sean, you're the man. Love your work on Playbook, by the way. Super oh, good. Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate no, it. No problem. Hey, so I got a quick question, man, because this, this trade with Jimmy Graham is super reminiscent, at least a little bit in my mind, of, the trade with Percy Harvin, you know, they both are kind of high profile players getting paid a lot. And, you know, they're coming in and we couldn't quite work with Percy. We didn't quite know how to use them. And eventually it kind of got a little spurn in the locker room. And, and so I'm wanting a little reassurance that this is the right move. Cause you know, I, I know people are saying he's a super good fit, but we kind of just got over this and, you know, Percy's now gone getting traded around. And I want to know your guys take on it. Sure. Uh, he's comparing Jimmy Graham to Percy Harvin. Well, I just or, or think I, I, just the I, Seattle. Fit well, for just Jimmy. look. I think what he's saying is that this is a Devin in San Antonio. Uh, that that this is a big playmaker. Yeah. That the Seahawks 
their big, best playmaker is Marshawn Lynch and their quarterback, obviously, yeah. and needing some sort of downfield throw. Although Chris Matthews surely looked like a big play guy in the first half to the point where Brandon yeah. Browner said, I'll take him, bringing Malcolm Butler on the field. We all know what happened there. Well, and, and that was all predicated on his size. He was the bigger receiver, right. the tallest receiver on, on Seattle's roster. But so. he's basically saying, can Jimmy Graham be that guy to take this offense and put it at a whole I mean, different level? I, I think Seattle's offense was scary with how physical they were and, and their play action pass to their tight ends, you know, uh, Luke Wilson. I mean, he he, he made a career, uh, a season out of out of the play action passing. But Jimmy Graham now with, I mean, arguably one of the best teams in the NFL, if not the best team. Yes, they lost to to your Patriots over there, but they just got better. So I, I don't know how you can't. Jimmy Graham could fit on any team. If you're a quarterback, there isn't a quarterback in the NFL that wouldn't take Jimmy Graham on their team because you could flex him out. Uh, if you get a one on one against a linebacker, it's all day long. Look at Gronk, Gronk in the Super Bowl. As soon mm -hmm. as he was against. Matched up against a linebacker in the Super Bowl, Tom threw it to him. And but they also coughed up their center for him, though. What, yeah, is that, I, what does that mean? I, I think that they lost him and they lost James Carpenter to free agency. To the Jets. To the yep. Jets. Uh -huh. So that's big for me uh, because of what they do. They run the ball 52% of the time. So mm -hmm. they're going to have to. Unless they're on the one yard line with the unless game. Unless they're on, on the one yard line, line, which now, what are they going to do on the one yard line? They're going to throw to Jimmy Graham. <laughs> so Pete Carroll is sticking to his guns. I'm, I'm, I'm not just. Trolling here or joking though, but if Graham was running that route instead of Lockett, well, it would have been a fade route, number one. No, but true, for sure. Well, obviously, he probably yeah. wouldn't have been running. Sean, that is route. is Max Unger calling the protections in that offense, or is Russell Wilson calling it at the line? Um, I, I think Max has a lot to do with it. Um, you know, the obviously the mic call and getting everybody all on the same page. But yeah, I, I think Max was was one of the guys that was you know really calling out, hey, we got a slide left. This is what the safety's doing. We're getting a, a will free safety blitz. Um, you know, I think Russell is extremely smart, uh, so I'm sure he has a lot to do with it. But there, there's there, there's a center. I think uh, Stephen Wisniewski, the center for the Raiders, he's visiting Seattle right now. So yeah, because the Raiders. I mean, do you see how much they paid Rodney Hudson? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. I'm, I was about to unfile my retirement. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like I think he's getting paid nine a year, which is is awesome. I'm, I'm ex that that's awesome for a center. Yeah. The thing that I can't under wrap my head around is the Chiefs just keep letting offensive linemen walk out the door. I mean, last year they lost three of their starters mm -hmm. in Brandon Albert, John Asamoah, and Jeff Schwartz. And then this year they lose Rodney Hudson. That's four starters in two years just walking out the door. I don't know what's going on in KC. Jeff in Detroit, you're on the Rich Eisen Show with Sean O'Hara. Jeff? Sean, how's everything, brother? You all right? I'm good, man. I'm hey, hanging out with Rich on? on this set. Do Uncle you see this set? Uncle Rich, what's yes. happening, baby? How are you, cousin Jeff? I'm all right. It's always good to have a rich uncle, I tell you. Listen, here in Detroit, I was a little bit upset about Indomitian Sue until I heard the piece on your show. Okay. And it's so funny that they ask him, is it for the money? And he goes all the way around the world, and it comes back to the training staff. My question to you is, did he Google and find out that they didn't have 6% sales tax where he's going? Because inevitably, he's saving $3.6 million with that $60 million guarantee, leaving Michigan and going to uh, Miami. Yeah, I mean that, that's probably he's because he said he, he he's referring to the Jeff's referring to the yeah, fact that he researched tax. he researched the yeah. th things is what he said. Gotcha. When he was asked, "Is it the money?" and he started talking he about it's more than just the money. I I assume he had to. Yeah. I assume that's what it was. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Yeah. But Jeff, I, I, look, I mean, here's the deal that that when it came down to it, th the fact that he was making that much money and was unfranchise taggable, he was out the door. Yeah. Uh, I, That's the end of that. I, I, is he upset that Sue is gone? Jeff, he, is, is, is you Jeff's got Nada. You got a loading Nada. Yeah, that's true. Oh, did you cut him? Did, did, no, no, actually. Did Law make the decision to cut he, Jeff off? No, did you sit there and I, cut? Explain it. Who I'll, hit I'll, the button on Jeff in Detroit? I'll say this, and Dominica Sue. Who's? Hold on a minute. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm, no I'm, in, I'm, I'm calling the protections here. Oh, now, who okay? held over there? Who hung up on Jeff in Detroit? Law. Can you just sit there and just have a conversation? Please. We what? like we like Jeff in Detroit a lot. He's probably our no, best. Not the way that so so cut him off. I call I called What's your audible? Please. There's please. no audible. I, I picked up to say, Jeff, you gotta call in whenever you want, man. We'll take your call. He's great. And he said, All right, I appreciate that. And I was like, Oh, Rich is talking to you. Let me put you back on. Dropped and then him. Del Tufo dropped him. Oh, he's such a liar. He dropped him. <laughs> but why like, it, why would you pick up the phone to tell somebody you're having your great caller when we're in the middle of his great call? Uh, because it's, normally Jeff takes the call and then hangs up and listens off the air. I didn't want to lose him. I wanted him to know that we like his call in Detroit. Brockman, this is I just, see this is what I do with my Chris Command Center here. Yeah, he That's, just launches us under the bus for three hours. I, I don't. 
do I launch anybody under the bus? Or should I, or should I? <laughs> Brockman sits there, because he knows when, I, when I've got law on my sights, he'll just sit there yeah, and be he quiet. Knows. <laughs> but what do I do? Sean, you tell me, okay? You've, you've worked with Tom Coughlin. You've worked yeah. for Tom Coughlin. Yeah. Uh, you've worked uh, the Mara family, the Tish family. Uh, Eli is a signal caller from, from the royalty, okay? So yeah. you've seen leadership, you've seen the, what do I do? Do I take, in a situation like that, a mental note and bring it up later? Or do yeah. I call it out on the spot and on 150 plus radio stations, the NFL uh, Now app, uh, and DirecTV? What do I do, Sean? You know, I, 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 I'm with you on the accountability factor. Okay. I, I think we are not honest enough in our society today. Mm -hmm. If you mess up, we gotta own up to it. And I was kept to call out on my team, if you hey, if if Ahmad Bradshaw missed the Mike linebacker mm -hmm. on a, on a 76 protection and he had the Mike to Sam and the Mike came and hit Eli, mm -hmm. you're damn right we're gonna tell we're gonna let him know on the spot on the spot. Eli man. even did that a couple of times. I can't wait till Monday. But what if you have a young rookie who you're trying to talk up and say, hey, you just did a great job. We need you on this team. That's what I was trying to do with Jeff. And are you the young oh, rookie? I thought you were the young rookie. Oh. See now, who's who turned his mic off? <laughs> now his mic's off. My me. mic is on, Del Tufo. Red I just light turned is it on. on. I actually just turned it on for him. So, what is happening here, I you, you know, Sean? I, I think it's a great. This is a great learning process. Th that will never happen again. Oh no! No, no. Oh, it happened happen happen yesterday. It will. <laughs> hey, how much Greer calls to you. him in the next segment? It might happen then. Wow. Yeah. How are things up at NFL Network, Sean? What's going on over there? <laughs> the phones work. <laughs> yeah, the phones work. <laughs> Jeff in Detroit is welcome there. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call in next week and just make sure that, that the phone. Make everything's line, fine. Come back down here. Yeah. You're welcome anytime. All right. This is my way of saying thank you for coming on. Hey man, I appreciate. Thanks for having me. On. Anytime. I appreciate it. That's Sean O'Hara of uh, the National Football League Network. You, when's your next game for them? Tomorrow? Today? Today. We got total access. It's okay. only a one hour. You know, we've been doing two hour total access. Because it's a frenzy. The, with the frenzy. Understood. And I think things have kind of chilled out. But, Even though it's not. But this Demarco Murray thing, it's. I mean, it's going to blow up. We're going to so, be talking Eagles. NFL all total day access long. tonight on NFL Network. That also has live coverage of Oregon's pro day at four Eastern time with Mike Mayock, who phoned in before. Uh, Albert Breer. Yeah, we're just having they're just having a reunion here. It's an old reunion. Uh, Albert Breer will phone in from Philadelphia to tell us what's going on there, and in the middle of an answer, Law will get on the phone and tell him how great a job he's doing. That's still to come here on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.